Hey guys, Mark here at Gilmore Realty. We're going to review two houses real quick that just popped up on the market within the last couple of days. Uh, the first one, 668 Maybank Loop. Looking at it right here on screen. It's a beautiful home. Just popped up. There's a couple open houses this weekend. It's uh, 2,081 square feet. The address is 668 Maybank Loop. Just remember that. $369 a square foot. Three beds, three full baths. Taxes sit about 3,800, give or take. Built in 2006. So golf front with room for a pool. Bond is paid. Somerset designer home in the village of Caroline. Okay. Um, so take, let's see what they did. Roof was replaced in 2020. HVAC in 23. Home is ideally situated one mile from Lake Sumter. Close to Caroline Pool, Coconut Grove Recreational Center, and Mallory Hill Country Club. It's a pretty area up here. Okay, so just let you know that. But here's the view from the street, from a little aerial. You got that uh, T right, or the uh, the flag post right here behind you. So let's go through it real quick and just see what's going on. Let's, you know, I'm in a video mode this week, so it's beautiful. I love this tree in the front. I think I drove by this the other day. Beautiful. Paver driveway. I love the screened-in front. It keeps the bugs extra layer protection. From bugs, lizards, whatever, getting in your house. Okay. Stucco siding. Look at this. It's pretty. I brought those pavers right in here. And it's like so decor over here as well. See what they've done here. It's pretty. Here's the entry. Beautiful chandelier. Tile floors. Wow. Well, Here's the island. The kitchen's not huge in this, but the island's nice. It's got a big and open layout. That's got to be a pantry. Gas stove, granite countertops. I don't mind the cupboards. Got a little design to them. Appliances look newer. Bunch of plugs, which is nice. Okay. I'll get these off. All right. Here's your walk out. Wow. Look at this. Nice and closed lanai, right? Nice room. A little sunroom now. So this is screen. So you have an enclosed portion of the lanai or Florida room, right? Now you have this little portion where the they sealed or painted the floor. This is all screen. They can walk out. Pretty nice view. I wouldn't mind having my coffee there in the morning. There it is. That's a nice touch. They sent the drone over there. They got a photo of it going the other way. Nice job on that one. That's different. This is the primary with tile floor. Pretty big room, actually. No crown molding. Updated closet. Walk-in shower, dual sink. Okay, not sure where that is, but there's a little bit smaller room in the closet. All right, dual closets in here. Okay, I don't see that too much anymore. You have to do some of this tub. I guess it's fine, especially if you get an injury or if you have a, you know, you're getting there yourself to where you're going to have a hard time. You need somewhere to sit down. I guess this is great, but for someone who's still very active, it's they're going to want to replace that at some point. Okay. Nice. Oh, the room. That's off the front door, too. Because there's a front door. So it could be an office slash bedroom. Here's the other bathroom. A linen closet. All right, so here's the layout. So... You have that sunroom in the back. It's a pretty big sunroom right off the breath, back, off the kitchen. You have the screen porch over here. The master's back here, which can go out. I don't know if that's a window. Looks like a window only. It would be nice if they put a 
slider there. But let's see what else we got. Where's the front door? So here's the porch. You walk into the foyer. You have a bathroom on your left, a den on your right, another bathroom up front, and there's a front bathroom. So there's a little hall here, a little hallway. There's a bedroom up front that we looked at with that dual closet. And then you have the bathroom right outside of that. And then there's another bathroom when you walk in here as well, which is nice. You go down here to the hallway. So you have a couple different bathrooms here that someone could use if they visited or you threw a party here. Right? Here's a big hallway. Big living room. Walks into your breakfast and kitchen, obviously. Um, so here's the hallway again, which has the laundry room off the master bedroom, which I like. Um, so there's the, you walk into the master, come into the bath, you got a bunch of stuff here. And then there's a garage with the electrical and furnace and instant on or hot water tank, whatever you got. This is a nice layout. I don't mind it. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, it's a pretty house. So what is this one? So this is 769.9. It's 2,081 2, square foot. 369 a square foot, three beds, three full baths. Tax is sitting about 3,800. Built in 06, a village of Caroline. Again, they replaced the HVAC in 23, roof in 2020. Not too far from Sumter Landing. Take a look at this one. Let's go to this other one. Okay, I want to see, I want you to see this one. It's at 1,050,000. Now, this is out of the majority of the people who buy in the village's price range. But if you are looking in this price range, we've got to do all, we've got to do all price ranges. Three bed, two bath, 2,439 square feet. 1276 Bennett Place. Obviously, it's a village of Bridgeport. Agent did a good job of putting it out there. We're not guessing. $430 a square foot. We're going to find out why. But it is a pretty big yard. It's got a 0.43 acre yard, almost a half acre. Built in 05, $6,500 a year in taxes. Now, I don't like the description. Somebody's using AI to make it, and they're doing this up and down, full text. I'm not reading through that. I think that anybody who does this, if they're using AI, they need to stop doing this. It's a premier series only. It's a village of Bridgeport. That's all they are out there is premier. It's near Lake Sumter, new roof in 22. We're going to pick out some of the main things. Arnold, near Arnold Palmer Ledges Championship Golf Course, beautiful Lake Sumter, 0.43 acres. Let's see. Anything they've updated. Let's look at some dates. Uh, 10 foot high ceiling, soaring 12 foot tray ceilings. No. Okay. Let's look at pictures. All right. So here we go. Pretty fun. Again. Bridgeport's all premier. So as we walk into the entry, you go into a foyer. You got your breakfast nook and kitchen here off to the left. And you have two bedrooms and a bath and a shared bathroom with a closet on each one. Okay. But there's no closet in this bedroom. Well, that's not good. Okay. Maybe they left it out. This one has a closet. See that? This one does not have a closet by the looks of it. But they do have a shared bath. Uh, you walk into this big living room, dining room, big lanai in the back. Here's the primary bedroom way in the back. I like the fact it's separated out from these other bedrooms. It's kind of nice. You walk into your primary closet. Another one on the other side of the hallway. So dual closets. And a pretty big bath. So let's keep going on some photos here. So I want to see this front room and see if it has a closet. My guess is, by the way it is, it doesn't have a closet. Hardwood floors. Don't see that very often anymore. Tile floor when you walk in. Hardwood to the left in the kitchen. Nice. There's that bathroom and two bedrooms in that front area with the kind of like the half octagon. Okay. Here's the kitchen. Obviously staged. Okay. These are basic countertops. For a premier home. I like the cabinets. All they're nice. And uh, electric stove. Okay. 
Kitchen's okay. Let's keep going. Too many pictures. All right, slider out. That's fine. Okay. There's a big island. Way too many photos of the kitchen. All right. Beautiful area back here. I want to. I can't. I want to see what's in the back. So there's a dining area, family room over here. All right, got crown molding everywhere. That's nice. Oh, okay. Gold. Too many photos. Okay, so now we're back here on the enclosed lanai with dual fans. Looks like tile floor and looks like it. All right. It's pretty. It's got a big backyard. All right, so there are doors to walk out from the master onto the enclosed lanai. I like that. I do like that option. It's a pretty floor. That's also wood. I'm not sure what. I'd have to see it visually closer. That's a big, uh, a big main bed. It's nice. That walks into the dual closets, I believe, on both sides of the aisle there. Yep, there's the other one. Okay, so here's the bath. Basic countertop zone and all these. If you're going to pay this money, well, how much is it? We'll see how much this is, but countertops need to be way nicer than this. So, so with the lighting and everything else. Little tub's nice. Nice little outlet. Little pocket door toilet. I like this. Got some light in there. Okay. Walk-in shower. Nice. So it has a tub and a walk-in shower. Alright, and there's a dual closet. Nice. <laughs> Here's another bed with a closet, and I'm not sure if it has its own bath or not. I don't think so, no. Hallway bath. Surround for a shower. Surprising. And again, basic countertops. This is that front area, so there's no closet. So most people would use this as an office. You can use it as a bedroom, but no closet in there. Hmm. I like this cabinet. It's gorgeous. Nice shutters. Bunch of lighting in there. It's nice. Nice laundry room with a ton of cabinets like that. Uh, golf cart garage. They did the floor. Got a sink out there too. I like it. Got some shelving over here for storage. There's your attic access. And some closets here, which probably has your furnace. Hot water tank, whatever else is in there, electrical. Okay. So let's get some out in the exterior on it. I want to see the exterior backyard. So you're on a cul-de-sac. You're not going to have that huge amount of traffic, right? This is the back. It's really pretty. Again, these are all enclosed. Minimal landscaping, which I love. Again, you don't move to the villages to do a ton of landscaping. It does have a very big yard. It's got 0.3... 0.43 acres. I mean, to some people, it's not a lot from where they're coming from, but for the villages, that's a pretty good lot. So you do have room for a pool here, without a doubt. Pretty area. There you are. There's Lake Sumter, not too far away. Oh. Okay. All right. So what is this one? Come on now. So, Village Bridgeport, 1276 Bennett Place, 1,050,000. 1, In that price range, I would expect nicer countertops, lighting, some updates. So, I know it's new in the market, but uh, it's 2,439 square feet, 430 a square foot. $6,500 a year in taxes, built in 05. They did put a new roof on it in 22. It's a premier setting. It is, you know, Bridgeport was, you know, all premier homes, but, you know, some of the features in them are not premier, obviously, compared to today. 
Um, they do have some hardwood floors. Those that darker flooring was bamboo. And uh, unfortunately, you're gonna have to probably purchase this and sink some money in it to bring it back into the 2024 era uh, on the inside. But it's a beautiful home. It's a beautiful area. So, uh, anyways, look at this one. I just want to cover these two that popped out today. So, if you have any questions, let us know. Reach out to us on that. And uh, we will talk to you soon. If anybody has any questions, go to our website here. Go to the Villages tab. Look at the Buy a Home. You can search multiple ways and download our map, which has been hugely successful in the fact of helping people getting to know the area. And they can just point and click on each one of these different villages to find out what's available in that area. And the MLS makes that difficult. But this makes your life easy, okay? Um, you can also search by home many different ways. If you're looking to sell a home, let us know. We have a bunch of different marketing avenues that we're going to promote people's homes with. I do have a new program coming out as well. And uh, let us know about that. Any open houses you plan on going to or seeing, go to our open house tab. You'll see them all here for the next week or two. If they're on the MLS as an open house, they will pop up on that site. Okay, if you're looking to do a lifestyle visit here anytime soon, let us know. We'd love to meet up with you. Uh, my wife, Nicole, Sandy, Raymond, and myself are all in the villages in and out constantly. So please reach out to us. We'd love to meet with you, say hi, show you houses. And I hope you enjoy looking at houses as much as we do because we just love it. Okay, so uh, everybody have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. If I don't make do another video, please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.